Right. Happy Monday, loves. Good evening, Facebook. Good evening, Instagram. Good evening, YouTube. Welcome. Welcome to our 10th session of our March Manifest Challenge. We began on March 7th and have been going since then. And if you're not sure what I'm talking about, tonight's session is part of a series called the March Manifest Challenge, where I've been going live three times a week until the end of March, where I've been going live talking about um, topics such as expressing feelings and navigating conflict better, expressing your emotions better, getting clear on and establishing boundaries, improving your communication, your relationships, managing waves of intense, challenging feelings. So if you've attended any of my live streams or any of my sessions before, please make sure you type hello in the comments. Let me know if you're catching this live or as a replay. Hey mom, mom's on Instagram, nice. And as new people are coming into the room, in case you're not sure who I am, my name is Danny LaBerry. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach, and I teach ambitious women effective tools to build confidence and feel worthy again, whether post-breakup, single, or in a relationship. So if you haven't already, you'll want to download my self-care assessment tool for free, so that way you can follow along with us in this series. You can download it by going to dannylaberry.com slash march dash manifest dash challenge or clicking the link in the caption of this video if you're watching this in our Facebook group or on YouTube and if you're watching this on Instagram the link is in my bio so let's go into tonight's session there's something wrong with me if I'm not happy all the time so because happiness feels good we may be in the habit of seeking to feel it all the time we may think that the point of all of this, right? This meaning life, our journey. We may think that the point of all of this is just to feel happy and to feel joy and to just feel good all the time. But I want to share that rather than looking at things as good or bad, I have found it to be a lot more effective to look at things as am I getting closer to my goals or am I getting further away from my goals? So if we, and this is why I do this, because if we base operating, right, making choices, making decisions, taking action or inaction in our lives, then if we do that based on how we feel, and when we don't feel good, we'll tend to turn to things or we'll turn to people, we'll turn to relationships, we'll turn to things outside of us to feel better until those unpleasant or challenging feelings pass. So sometimes we'll even stay in an unhealthy or toxic relationship with thoughts of, what if I never find my person? What if this is it for me? We may even romanticize the future. We may create dreams or visions with this person that not, might not be healthy for us. Meanwhile, this vision that we have is not at all reality. But because we believe that this is what we deserve, we stay. So from these misconceptions, we may go into people-pleasing behaviors. Now, what does that look like? What is people-pleasing? We may think that this is, we may do certain things or, or do certain behaviors where we think it's out of love. We may do certain things or favors for other people or people that we think we love, thinking that it's love when really there may be an ulterior motive there. And the way to check in with ourselves is asking ourselves, what is my intention? What is my intention with this choice right now? What is my intention with this action right now, this gesture right now? Am I doing this gesture out of genuine love or am I doing this out of some sort of ulterior motive? Am I doing this to get something back? Am I doing this to get something from it? Am I doing this so that this person won't leave? Am I doing this so what is the ulterior motive or what is the actual intention? And that's how we can check in and really figure out are we doing any sort of people pleasing? So. Let me see here. So we may try to even end the relationship first to avoid getting hurt. We may not really like being by ourselves too long. And so we turn to things or people so that we don't have to experience the painful or hard feelings. So as this is the last week of our March Manifest Challenge, and perhaps you've already downloaded the self-care assessment tool and are interested in working with me, I offer a complimentary 30-minute discovery call where we talk about where you are, 
where you'd like to be, and if we are a fit. And if you'd like to schedule that call, you can go to dannylaberry.com slash discovery dash call. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, the link is in the caption of this vid video. And if you're watching on Instagram, the link is in my bio. So if you found value to our session tonight, please share this video with a health and well-being bestie of yours. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit like and subscribe. And be sure to join me tomorrow evening, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, 6.30 p.m. Central Time, 4.30 p.m. Pacific Time. Thank you so much for joining me again for tonight's March Manifest Challenge, our 10th session. Um, I hope you'll join me tomorrow night for our 11th session. Again, my name is Danny Laberry. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a happiness transformation coach. Take care of yourself and have a great evening.